See why I am so inspired by the beauty of Heaven Weep National Monument that I'll do a morning sketch right from the picnic table. Later, join us while we explore Native American structures built more than 700 years ago. There's Nicholas, and we are at the edge, the edge of this drop-off, and it is so spectacular this evening. It just makes you want to explore and explore and explore. I hope to get some sketching done. Wow, it's hard to even choose what to sketch first. I've already been taking dozens of photographs. Good morning. We are at Hoven Weep National Monument in the southeastern corner of Utah. And as you can see, we have rolled out of our, uh, our tent. And um, I found, you know, I'm surrounded by absolute beauty. Um, I'm going to draw this, a sketch of this just right here from our picnic table uh, with mountains in the background. Anywhere, everywhere around here is just gorgeous. Um, but it's early and I haven't had my coffee yet. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to sit right here and sketch in the morning sun. Okay, so far I've just done a quick sketch. Now I'm going to be shutting off the camera in between because I'm running really low on battery. And uh, it's kind of a pain to charge things out here. But all I've done is do basic sketching of what I'm seeing. And now I'll go back and uh, start laying in textures, um, more detail, and values for everything. Okay, I have um, blocked in a little bit more of the shading on I this. Out. Still not sure. near completed, but um, it is getting warm out here. I've had to put on a, a hat and sunscreen and take off my jacket, mm -hmm. and it's just a really, really beautiful morning. Hey, so we just had breakfast. I've been sketching away. I've added in some colored pencil over my graphite. And these were actually aquarelle, so they're, I could touch them, you know, water to them, and they'll bleed into each other and mix. But since I'm not working on watercolor paper, I'm working on regular paper, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it just as colored pencil. Light, it changes as, as the day goes on. So it's now mid-morning. Uh, I'm trying to remember what it was because I can't just keep changing it. I'll never finish um, one thing I've done up here is I used my eraser as a stump and kind of uh, blended those colors in the distance. Um, also, there's a little bit of, of yellow right over the edge of the mountains, and that goes up into the blue, very subtle. Um, here, as this comes forward, it gets darker and darker. Reserve your darkest um, shadows for the immediate foreground. So what I've tried to do, even though when I look out through there, and I see there's plenty of darks and shadows out there, you want to establish the atmosphere, that that's in the distance. So these are very light, just very light, nondescript. All of my... Um, shadowing is going the same direction. I'm not really establishing what the bushes look like or any of that. As I come forward to the rocks, then I get a little bit more specific um, on, you know, 
different angles, things like that. You know, that there's a shrub that's clinging to the cliff. Then as that comes forward, then on this side of the, what you're not seeing is that's a ravine down there. And so then we're getting into actual shapes of shrubs and, and cedar trees in the foreground. Now, simplify. You can probably see right here, there's a lot more going on than I have in my, in my image. And I'm not sure if I have it lined up exactly with what I'm seeing here. But um, you have to, to simplify your composition. Now, one thing here in the front, I've reserved that this is going to get the darkest darks along this twisted um, cedar, dead cedar. So I laid all this in, and it wasn't glowing sufficiently against the dark uh, bush behind it. So with my eraser, I just came in and erased lightly parts of this, and then it started to look like it was glowing against the background. Now, these two shrubs right here are different. So I had to try to make sure to do, you know, different colors for each one. This is such a light, beautiful color. I don't have the exact right colors in my, in my box uh, to make that. But I put a combination of yellow and um, a, a, like a light turquoise and green. Uh, together to try to, to mimic that beautiful color there. If I tried a little bit harder, I could get a better representation of that. I'll probably um, come back and, and add a little bit more. Um, with my work, I always, I do it and then I put it away and then I bring it back out, look at it fresh and, and see what it needs. But for a little sketch this morning, I had a lot of fun, and uh, we're packing up. We're going to go see the, the ruins, and I'll do some video of that for you. But just say a uh, beautiful morning, a wonderful night. Very, very um, serene here. And cute lizards that run around. Thanks so much for joining me for this lesson. I hope you really got something out of it. You could help me to continue to give you free content by clicking that like button below 
and hitting the subscribe button so Arts Express will be easy to find in your subscription list. Also comment. I'd love to start a conversation. Have a great day. Bye.